Hey, Bob, I'm glad to have you on today. Hey, it's nice to be here. Thanks this for having me. This is exciting. Should we tell them our secret? I don't know if they're ready for that. <laughs> We're literally strangers. Like, we yeah. just met 10 minutes ago. And that, Yeah, that's the secret. <laughs> Cat's out of the bag. This is the actually we'll the leave, first words we've spoken we'll to each other at, that. Uh, at all. <laughs> <laughs> I like meeting new people. It's fun. I do too. This is fun in there's, a hardware store. There's only like 3,000 comics in Michigan. Is that right? I only like like 80 of them though. Yeah, it's probably the, that's the right percentage. Is it? I like about eight. <laughs> so. I'm probably not even on that list yet. No, you're on that list. <laughs> I already like you better than I like the other 2,992. <laughs> We do, we do have a lot of people in Michigan we doing do. this Why uh, is that? comedy thing. I don't know that it's Michigan. I think it's just everywhere. I think it's, uh, it's just uh, we're, we got a new boom going. Well, I know, but I just visited Orlando in Detroit, or in yeah. Detroit, <laughs> in December. Yeah. And, uh, is it cold, that one, Orlando and there, Detroit? All there was was improv. There was no yeah. comedy. What about the Orlando in Florida? Do they have stand-up there? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't find any. Okay. I literally didn't find any. Okay. It's just improv clubs. Improv, yeah. Um, and improv. when I told the improv actors or whatever they are yeah. that I did stand up, they're like, "Oh, yeah. you just stand there and tell jokes." Yeah, yeah. Well, this is I my. I was like, Whoa. The, the, Yeah, they they have no reason to talk. Listen, <laughs> they, this is what they should do with improv. They should put an e at the end of that word and just be done with it. Improv. <laughs> <laughs> <Hey>. But um, <laughs> that was good. Yeah. Well, it was entertaining, but it is a different type of, like, theatrical, yes. you know. Yes, whole different deal. It is a whole different deal. I feel like either you're into that or you're into... Yeah, I think uh, the people are kind of split like that, you know. It's not I, there a lot are of people crossover. who like both, but um, I think, um, to me, uh, I like the discipline of stand-up. Mm -hmm. You know, the discipline of making it look unrehearsed yeah. instead of obviously being unrehearsed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're talking about my act. Uh, no, I'm not. Did you watch no, that? I'm, I'm, I'm talking about all the improv people are going to watch this. They're going to hate me. No, no, no. No, I actually, I, no. I, I do. I know several people who are who are, who are very good improvers. Mm -hmm. And there was a troupe in Detroit, a couple of troops in Detroit, that I would go to see. They mm -hmm. were very, very good. The problem is most of them are not. Mm -hmm. so. Well, and that's it's the same with comedy. Yeah. How sure many enough. free bar shows can you go to and see oh bad God. comedy? Yeah. Yeah. Well, every night. And of the then week, when you charge to get into a show, and the general audience is like, "Oh, we gotta pay money because we could go down yeah. the road and see it for free." You're like, right. "No, the, these are real comedians." Yes, and that's that's a little bit of a problem. I'm gonna be serious here for a moment. And by the way, I'm sorry I'm so underdressed <laughs> for the hardware store. <laughs> Aren't you supposed to be getting me fish? Oh, what were we saying? Uh, I don't know. We were, know. We were talking bad. about uh, the uh, the plethora of stand up. Yeah, and the uh, bar you know. shows, and you said I'm going to get serious for a yes, minute. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, the thing is with that, and uh, is uh, people, if there's any drawback to it, the good thing about it is a lot of people are getting stage time. Yeah. And there's a lot and of funny practice. people out there. Yeah, you got to practice. practice. And, the, and the newbies, they got to have a place to go because the clubs, you know, they're they're, pulling their back. numbers are shrinking uh -huh. every year. So, mm -hmm. so that's the good part. And I, I love seeing like this new crop of comedians coming up because they have they're going down all you know whole different roads that I would I would ever think of. But the drawback to it is you have so many that on a given night, let's say you got ten bar shows going on in in some area, and 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 it it, it dilutes the talent so much that when mm -hmm. people go to see that they go. So this is a comedy show. Ten people and two of them have something rehearsed and mm -hmm. you know are funny. Uh, that's the mm -hmm. that's the drawback. Well, and that I mean that's kind of for everything that it it can go good and bad both yeah. ways. But because we're specifically in it, we're like no. Yes, and I'm old now, so I'm I'm grumpy about everything. I'm I'm 35. What do you got? Two years uh, on me? Oh yeah, right. <laughs> the times ten. Oh. Yes, I'm old, mm -hmm. and so I'm so I'm I'm crabby, and I'm and I'm longing for the old days. <laughs> Can't wait to see your act and, tonight. Oh yeah, it's, it's gonna be. Uh, <laughs> it's just it's just um it's just 45 minutes of me just uh, complaining oh, about okay. uh, the kids these oh, days. Oh, fantastic! <laughs> so I do. <laughs> yeah, so do you, do you do uh, do you do uh, jokes about your kids in your act? A little bit about the kids. And I grew I'm going to hear about, these yep, jokes tonight. I, well, a little bit. I mean, okay. I'm the MC, so I'm not going to take okay. much time away from you guys because right. I like listening to you guys. But yeah. I talk about growing up on a farm. Mm -hmm. um, my dad told all the boys in my high school 
that I was really good at castrating pigs. <laughs> so I never had a prom date. Oh, I never. Oh, <laughs> I was a, that was a bad yeah. move. On but I was, uh, every summer, me and my girlfriends were whores for my dad. So that was fun. Oh, okay. Like a, like a, a ho like in a bean field. Whores. Yeah, whores. I'm glad you <laughs> clarified that. Why I didn't was, you breathe for a minute? I don't know. I just, I literally went, oh, that's good. So he whored out his head. Yeah, so, uh, and then and and uh, you and the rest of the summer you were castrating. Pigs. Yeah, <laughs> so I talk about the farm life. Yeah, that's fun. And uh, my husband's a truck driver. That's pretty easy to make fun okay. of. We have the best marriage. He's never home. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, so yeah. I literally Sometimes see him one day way. a week, and I'm like, this is amazing. Okay, is he gonna see Bye. this? Yeah, of course. Oh, he's gonna see this. Oh, he okay. loves this. So he, yeah. oh, good. So he's a good sport about it. Oh yeah, totally. Good. You gotta have that. Yeah, for sure. If you don't, if you don't have, uh, you know, and I'm speaking seriously again. <laughs> when uh, I when I look at, <laughs> yeah, you need support at home, and yeah. and and uh, you know, people, uh, p the single people that are just trying it out and they're they're just getting started, they need, you know, you need your you need your pack behind mm -hmm. you to come to those shows, and to sit in the dark, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and be. Uh, well, and that it's interesting you say that because in my case, my husband actually was like, yeah, go do whatever, do your little hobby. He was the breadwinner, and yeah. he's like, yeah, go do whatever, you're social, get out of the house. And my friends, the people helping me at the shows, because he was gone, they were like, yeah, this is awesome. And they're the ones that kept me going with the actual, like, attaboys. Oh, yeah. Then... You got to have that. All these things started happening and fitting together, and then my husband's like, this is really cool. This is the thing, like, and you're hey, making money thank at thank you, it, thanks right? for coming on board. Yeah. And now he's, like, my biggest fan. Oh, that's He's great. Awesome. Yeah. It's, uh, I mean, we're, that, do you feel like you're hitting a new level in your career? I do. By doing I, something like this? Yeah, I've never yeah. done a hardware store. This, so this is the shake first. It up. Thank you for I think it. what you're talking about, too, is I'm still new to the scene. I'm only, I went to my very, well, no, you're, you're very, very first Eddie comedy Eve show just funny. like three years ago. Is that right? Very first comedy well, show you're, ever. You're, yeah. You're doing great. And uh, so you just got to keep thinking of things to shake it up, you know. And well, that's uh, you've got more going on than uh, a lot of people only doing it three years in because you got ideas. Keep yeah. that idea. Keep well, keep and I have and dumb stuff. friends that keep helping me do these ideas. Oh, well, that's great! <laughs> like our sound man here. Yeah. We have a sound man behind. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Yeah. I know it's cool. Yeah. They what actually are the emotional support chainsaws. Yeah. <laughs> they have. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel better. I feel better. Don't you feel better? When Actually, you're I here? thought we would go look at the toilets. I'm it's sorry. not this. Creating a rift in the marriage. Yeah. What is that anyway? That's this not... is knockout. I actually, it just happens to be over here. Knockout. But um, Adam got me using this because I have two boys uh -huh. and they stink bad all the time. Oh, and so this and is... I spray this in my van and I spray oh, this. Oh, okay. You literally it like covers everything. So it's like a Febreze that works. Yeah, yeah, okay. and it's I not like that. flammable. Yeah. Okay. Because that matters. Because I let my kids play with matches. Knockout. <laughs> You're a true value in Frankenmuth, <laughs> Michigan. You're very good at this. Yeah, well, there you go. So let's go wander around the store. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> when's the last time you got a toilet? <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. I can't remember the last time I bought one. Oh, that's one, loose. That one's loose. Uh-oh. Okay. Well, this, this needs fixing before it can even be sold. I, um... I just I just wanted to check these out because uh, we're gonna be eating a lot of chicken tonight. <laughs> we're in we're in Frankenmuth, and uh, do you have a preference of the round versus the oval seat? You know, I, I didn't even notice that there was yeah, a, a well, difference. Yeah, this is a thing because um, a friend of mine was fixing something in my bathroom, mm -hmm. and he went to step on the toilet to use yeah. it as to get up. Mm -hmm. He broke my toilet seat. Oh. He said, don't worry, I'll replace it. And I have a round, and he brought me an oval. Oh, well, if you're used and to And now round, I then. look like I live in a trailer park. <laughs> oh, is, it, is, is this it wrecks. It wrecks everything. Oh, okay. It just wrecks is, it. It's through, it's like, yeah, because uh, now there's like a point comes out the end of my toilet. Because oh, okay. it's this seat on this toilet. Well, this would be, toilet. this seems to be, would, would be more roomy and more, <laughs> you know, just. <laughs> but this has sort of, look at this, this has sort of an aerodynamic Right, tip feel. To it. Like, Do you yeah, think you there's less like less drippage? Like it's gonna it's a mobile toilet. Look at that. I don't know why they did that, but it's uh -huh. can you see that? I see I Here see. True value. <laughs> I don't know, is this Kohler brand? What brand of toilet is this? 
It's a Mansfield. Uh, Mansfield, the best. Mansfield Pro product. Fit 3, look at that. Aerodynamic tip. Elongated front, that's exactly what it's oh, called. Oh, that one it is, elongated front. Yeah, it's, okay. and it's the complete toilet kit. Wonderful. Wow. I feel like we're in the condom aisle at CVS. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the elongated... Yeah. I can't even say it. I can't even say it. I'll take the it. elongated tip. Uh, Just the tip. Speaking of tips, I got a lot of big tips from comedy class. Did you? <laughs> wow, what a segue. <laughs> that was really bad. <laughs> no, that's all right. It works. I took comedy class. What do you think about that? Well, uh, yeah, I think uh, I think it was a good move. I yeah. took one, too, 15 years ago. Did you? Mm -hmm. So wh yeah. what... Was it at a club or was there it a school was, you uh, went to? You know, my friend Bill Bouchard. Yeah. For my money, the uh, funniest guy in Michigan. Mm -hmm. One of the funniest guys in the country. I agree. And um, uh, he had a class at a, uh, a place called Joey's in Livonia, oh. which is now defunct, and which had nothing to do with his class. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, I got my start there. And uh, I felt, you know, I, I learned from the best. Mm -hmm. you know? He told me once that sometimes it's hard for him to write new material because he's helping everybody else with their punchlines. Yep. As soon as he told me that, I sent him like three of my jokes. <laughs> well, I was like, can you punch these up a little bit? He yeah. never replied. <laughs> he never replied. Well, you got, you got your answer, Yeah. if not a reply. He actually was at Fisher Hall, where we're going to perform together and tonight. And he probably burned it down. And, oh, yeah. yeah. But it was the very first night I tried some deer hunting material. Okay. I had never, and I stumbled through it. After the show, he put his hand on my shoulder. He's like, kid, you got to do that again. I was oh. like, Bill, it just fumbled and it wasn't awesome. He's he like, saw the funny in it. that was a cool perspective. Yeah. You got to do that again. Yeah. And so I've done it ever since. And now it's become a, like a thing and it's okay. fun. Well, then he gave you, that was good advice. He yeah, gave you. it was. Because, I mean, that's why he teaches it. He sees, he can see the funny in something that's rough, right? And refine it, and and keep, you know, did 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 he uh, did he say uh, still funny or keep it? That was that was yeah. what he'd say in he'd class. He'd say keep it. We'd be on stage, and I'd say some, or what I thought was an awful punchline, and he'd say keep it. <laughs> that's know, cool. Don't throw it out. So what what year did you start? When did you uh, actually 1947, start? 1947, actually. <laughs> and uh, this is my. Uh, I was really tuned in there for a second. <laughs> this is my 80th year in comedy. I, I, I'm not even doing the math there. But I look pretty good <laughs> yeah, for that. Too. Come on. For a walking dinosaur, yeah, you look great. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know how long I've been doing it. About, about that long. Did you ever have a real job? Yes, I had a real job. What'd you and, do? Uh, I do that less and less. Uh, actually... Uh, oh, you still have a real job. Yes, and I, uh, I don't... I don't talk about I don't it. report in too much. Gotcha. Yeah, cool. I'm selling it. Go! Yeah. Good for you. Uh, I just want to keep doing this so I can wind <clears> up in uh, better hardware stores across the country. I mean, I'm just going to take a guess. You're not a funeral home director, are you? No, okay. I'm not. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean... I, is, it, is, it, I, is it this? <laughs> it's this, isn't it? No. Is it this? No, I mean, we're matching Are you making today. fun of my suit? This is great. No. <laughs> Wait, come back. Oh, by All the right. way. You have the toughest job in comedy. I do? Yeah. Uh, aside from me holding up my mic, I don't know why I keep doing this. Because I, I forgot to clip it on. Put it in your pocket. I clip it on. Then I'd have two clip-ons. <laughs> so, you have the toughest job in comedy, and I tell this to everyone who's an MC. You're gonna be you're gonna be doing this for a while, mm -hmm. and you're gonna there's gonna be nights you hate it. There's gonna be nights you just burn the place down, because the 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 implied thing with an MC is that the audience goes, oh, they work for the club, or mm -hmm. they work for this place, and they're they're not like really the a starving new artist. I don't even know that they have that in their head. Okay. Uh, the 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 people that have been to a couple of shows get that, but a lot of people the first time go, oh, this is just the person who works here, and they're going to come on. Oh, they're telling jokes, so their mindset isn't ready. Mm -hmm. So when when you're funny, you break through that, and then you keep doing that, and you learn more. I know you. I know I learned more as an MC than I learned at any other level that yeah? I've been at. Oh, absolutely. I did nothing but MC for funny business for five years. Wow. It's not that I didn't want to. Right. I wanted to. I kept yeah. asking them to. Uh, but I did, I did, I can't, I can't tell you how many hundreds of shows I did as an MC. You learn more because you're, mm -hmm. you're, you're going out cold. Mm -hmm. You got to bring the funny fast, boom. Mm -hmm. And so you know, you, you, you're not pulling out your B game. You got the A yeah, game, boom, right throw that first joke out. And so you, and you learn to deal with uh, the kerfuffles in the crowd, people getting seated, the noise, the mm -hmm. this, the that, and trying to deal with distractions. So um, don't be in a hurry to jump to feature. 
I'm not. Uh, but you, <laughs> but, but you, you'll know when you're ready. Yeah. We yeah. we really do love Bill. He's a yeah. he's a respectable person. Yep. He Great guy. doesn't do anything ever. I've never had like trust issues with him. I've never. I mean, some of the comedians like they say something, and then I find something else out about them, and then yeah. you know you just don't know. And Bill has always been in person what he is not in person mm -hmm. you know and yep. i like that about him and and it's hard you got to find those people in the crowd and that's yeah, um, i've heard lots of great things about you i'm you so have. excited we finally get oh to work God. together it makes me I, super happy I hope I don't disappoint you. no you absolutely <laughs> will not i well, did. i'm looking forward to this this i i have been looking forward to this and i want to thank uh you for booking me okay and i want to thank my friend sal d'amelio <laughs> For putting us in touch, and, and Sal, Sal is another, another great in, guy. Just a, yeah. just a hilarious uh -huh. guy. Completely flip side to Bill. Mm -hmm. You know, just friendly, mm -hmm. lovable. You know, yeah. and uh, and I've never seen him have a bad show. We've done a lot of shows yeah. together. Oh, I bet. So yeah, we did a this show is, for eight people one time. This whole yeah. episode is name dropping. It is. Is there anybody else we should talk about? Oh, I, I got bigger names than Demilio and Bouchard. <laughs> Have you Come on. What are some of the biggest names you've worked with? Uh, the biggest names I've worked with, let's see, um, uh, Tom Arnold. Wow, I did cool. Four shows with him. Um, what was that like? It was great. He's a he's a very nice man. Awesome. A very down earth guy. Not. Uh, I I didn't. I try not to have any preconceived notions about him going in because I mean everything you hear mm -hmm. is is through the lens of somebody else's right. opinion. So. I just, I just enjoyed hanging out with him and That's his cool. stories, and he was a great guy, and he was really helpful. He tagged a couple of jokes of mine, oh, and that's we cool. we would hang out that's in the green room. That's gotta feel good. Oh, it was great. Right? Yeah, it was great. Uh -huh. Bill is a, he's a flamethrower. Uh -huh. He's a, he he's, he shoots fireballs mm -hmm. for an hour on on mm -hmm. stage, off stage, very quiet. Yeah, quiet Whole guy. Different Observer. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Whole different deal. Yeah. He would never, for example, bring a broom into a shop. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. Uh, he didn't volunteer to be in any of the first shows. He's like, "Why don't you get that thing rolling and then we'll do something?" <laughs> well, that's an old pro for you. <laughs> How many shows in are we? Uh, one. 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 And, you're a kid, and it's Cumberbund. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Cumberbunds, kids. Learn there's only one B in that. It's not like Benedict Cumberbatch. That is two. I don't need to tell you that because I enunciated. Oh, what's that? That's a big word. There you go. For a hardware store. <laughs> that's, that's a big word. I'm gonna. Uh, it's a big word for me, even in a hardware store.